Every day, so they say, 35,000 choices are made by each human brain. We evolve to sense the world around us, look for patterns, and make decisions. We are sense-making machines, operated by the greatest computer nature ever built. And now we have surrounded ourselves with machines of our own design and trained them to make decisions for us. What a world of abundance we have afforded ourselves by giving them the faculties to sense the world, look for patterns, and choose. But what does it take to make the right choice? Even for something as trivial as, give me directions to a good cafe near me. Humanity's greatest transition has begun as we defer ever more decisions to the software we create. Automated decision-making acts like our brains do. It senses information, identifies patterns, and makes choices. If this, then that. Choose A or choose B. However, no choice is free of ethical values. We learn our values from interacting with the world around us, but the information we get is always incomplete, full of bias and misdirection. We never stop learning. Algorithms, too, are only as smart as the imperfect data we feed them, so we face a compromise. The more we teach our machines about us, the better they can predict and serve our needs. But the more we share our actions, thoughts and moods, the more we expose ourselves to coercion, manipulation and exploitation. Now, as our labours and dreams become etched into the code of every algorithm we write, we load our artificial offspring with values that teach them how to choose one path over another. Human values, made in a human world full of human flaws. Where 2,000 years of moral philosophy has taught us that every time we try to bake the perfect ethics from a simple recipe, we end up with some grim compromise. Machines know right from wrong no better than a snail knows how to fly a plane. The software they run on is only as moral as the code we write it with. And once we let them do their own thing, even the simplest instruction could get really out of hand. Innovators of the past put lightning in glass and taught it how to answer our questions. Now it is upon us to lead it on down the path of right and wrong. But to find the way, we must hold a mirror up to ourselves, stare humanity in the face and ask, what are our common values? The answer could be our greatest gift to our children, human and machine, and everything in between. Along the way, our technology might teach us a thing or two about what it means to be human. It is intelligent to choose, but is it uniquely human to make the right choice? Artificial intelligence may be our last invention. So what do you say? Should we make it a good one? <laughs>